Michael George reporting from Wilmington, Delaware, and our team coverage continues with a closer look at the Electoral College vote in the state of Florida. All 29 electoral votes were cast for President Donald Trump this afternoon at the state capitol in Tallahassee. But who are these electoral voters? As Mike Vasilinda reports, it was a bittersweet moment for many of them. Florida's 29 electors come from all parts of the state. 28 electors are present. One elector is not present. One elector, Senate President Wilton Simpson, tested positive Sunday. State Senator Jeff Brandis was elected to take his place. Obviously shocked, and, uh, and you know, our prayers are with him as, as he's kind of going through this right now. But we, I've spoken to him today, and he's in good spirits. Each of the electors here handpicked by the Republican Party of Florida. I was surrogate for President Trump in the Jacksonville area. I was an RNC delegate for the president. Representative Jason Fisher is proud to be one of the people making history today. Some elected, uh, some, some folks who uh, are grassroots activists, some folks who've been active in the party for a really long time. And for many of the 29 Trump supporters, today's vote was bittersweet. Well, we, you know, it's, uh, as they say up north, it's not over till the fat lady sing. I think that was Yogi Berra. So uh, I don't think the fat lady has sung up to this point. Each elector signed and certified their vote as required by the Constitution. Thank you for performing your constitutional duty today. State GOP Chair Joe Gruder says even if the president's challenges continue to fall short, he'll still be a national force. Whether or not he starts preparing for the 2024 cycle, I think there's a lot of people around uh, the state that would uh, continue to support him. The vote is now forwarded to the Congress that will vote to accept or reject on January 6th. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.